Hey, this is Tom J here with another episode of the King of Craft Beer Reviews. Okay, so tonight, for your drinking pleasure, we have out of Lewiston, Maine, this is Baxter Pomola Extra Pale Ale. Pomola Extra Pale Ale. That's Baxter Brewing out of Lewiston, Maine. Yeah, so uh, my son was uh, up in Maine. He went, uh, he played in a, uh, in a hockey tournament up there. So the hockey tournament happened to be in the town of Lewiston, which happens to be where Baxter Brewing is located. And they've had a couple of Baxter beers already. I already, I think I did a review on one of them, which was their extra, uh, which was their uh, double IPA. It was, uh, it was real good. So, I was real happy when I heard he was at that town. I asked him to pick me some, some stuff up, and I did. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate it. Yeah, so, um, okay. Yeah, the, the extra pale ale. I'll give you some stats on this. Let's see. <clears throat> the uh, Beer Advocate gives it an 81, and, which is uh, very good. And the Rate Beer gives it a pretty low 42, which is not very good. Uh, the IBUs on this uh, are 27.5. They actually they actually give you the half point, so it's 27.5 on the IBU. And the ABV is uh, 4.9. So I'm thinking to myself that sh this should be a fairly light, light brew. Um, yeah. All right, so with that, we are going to get this into a glass and give it a shot. There you go. Okay. There you have it. It is a very nice pale light golden crystal crystal clear beer very very clear looking i mean extremely now you can see my finger there hi see yeah it's clear as hell um there's some nice carbonation coming up out of the middle of it it's a little bit clinging to the glass uh it's a very nice like i said a like a golden light golden color it's got a it poured a one finger Almost pure white fluffy head, but a little off-white fluffy head. Um, it looks like a nice, refreshing beer. Yeah. Let's get a nose on it. Okay. Overall, the nose is pretty light. Um, I smell uh, some, some biscuity malts. Definitely some... Some fruitiness, yeah, a little fruitiness, maybe a little tropical fruit, a little bit of citrus, maybe tangerine, and I said like a, just a light, uh, like a light bready type of uh, malt in the background. Really not a big heavy nose at all, it's kind of light. It's not completely muted, but it's, it's on the lighter side. Yeah, a little, tri little, little citrusy, a little fruity, maybe a little peach, a little mango, but very light, very light, kind of the way it looks. Okay, let's go in on this. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Um... Okay, it's definitely got some, um, it's definitely got the, the, the uh, breadiness and the maltiness in the background here. Um, that's probably 50% of what it tastes like. The other 50% is a mixture of a very light bitterness, light. After all, the, uh, the IBU is only 27.5%, uh, 27.5%, and, um, some light tropical fruit, very light peach. It's a very light beer. It's it's extremely um it's extremely 
light bodied, it's got a very light mouth feel. It's a very crisp, clean um, type of beer. Uh, spritzy, spritzy um, carbonation. It's like got little spritziness going on. And it leaves you with a nice dryness on your palate at the end. So, uh, I think it's pretty much what it's described as. I mean, it's described as a uh, an extra pale ale. And that's kind of what it is. It's like a pale, it's like a very light version of a pale ale. Um, do I like it? Yes, I do. For certain situations, I think it's nice. It's got a, not a low ABV. I mean, it's it's almost 5%. So, I mean, you, you, drink, you drink a six pack of these, you're going to feel it. You're not going to get smashed on it, but you're going to feel it. But this, to me, this would be an awesome summer beer. This would be a great beer to take to the beach, take on a camping trip, just to have on your back, in your backyard, on your deck, or your on your lawn, on your, anywhere, really. So just a nice summertime patio beer. Uh, I like it. I do. Uh... It being very cold out right now, it's the middle of January, but do I want to drink a lot of these right now? It's not quite as satisfying in the winter months. This would be something nice in the summer. Um, it's low in a, it's fairly low in ABV. I don't taste any alcohol in here at all. I didn't think I would, and I don't. Um, hmm. Yeah. It's got that nice bready, maybe crackery type of um, flavor going on in the background. It, you know, it kind of almost reminds me of like a light lager, like a good quality light lager. It's smooth, it's crisp. Maybe the, uh, maybe the, uh, the carbonation might be a little bit, a little bit high, for, like lagers are a little, a little smoother than that. This one tends to be a little spritzy. Almost like drinking a, uh, a good quality uh, club soda or something like that. But I like it. It's not the best pale ale I've ever had by any means, but uh, I like it. Okay. Now, mostly every time I, uh, I do these reviews, I let beers warm up and see how they taste after they warm. This particular beer is so light, the, the nature of this beer is, is such that it shouldn't even be drank warm. I don't, think it would, I don't think it would benefit this beer any. I think this beer was meant as a lawnmower type of beer. I think it was meant as a summer kind of beer, a beer that you would have on a hot day. You come home from work and you want something cold and refreshing and, and, and nice and tasty, but a nice light beer. That's what this is for. This is not meant to get warm and to drink when it's warm. So I'm not going to let that go on this time. I'm going to, I'm going to just, I'm going to rate it right now. All right. So, uh, yeah, we've gone over the taste and everything else. It's a very nice beer. Like I said, it's not one of my favorite, uh, pale ales. It's a very light pale ale, but then again, that's what the, that's what the can states it is. It's an extra pale. So it's, it's, it's meant to be that way. Okay, yeah, so uh, as for a rating, like I said, not one of my best pale ales, but it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's, it's pretty good. I'm going to give this, from 1 to 100, I will give this beer, uh, I'll, give this an, I'll give this an 83. This will get an 83 from me out of, uh, out of 100, which is a low 8. It's, it's a good beer. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just a little bit on the light side. Uh, but then again, like I said, sometimes you want a light beer. So it depends on what the situation is and what kind of mood you're in. But if you're in the mood for a nice, light summer beer that's not going to knock you out, and you can have several of them without having to go to sleep, this is the kind of beer you want to have. So, uh, yeah, uh, we're done with this review for now. Uh, if you see this beer, by the way, if you can get your hands on it, uh, nothing wrong with it. Very nice beer. Look for it in the summertime. This is what you want to have in the summer. So, 
Until next time, this is Tom Jay with the King of Craft Beer Review signing off. And always remember to drink responsibly, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.